Hey, this is John with FixerDirtBike.com, and I am here at the School Creek ORV area, at the School Creek Park uh, on Milford Lake. It is northwest of uh, Junction City, Kansas, and it's also southwest of Tuttle Creek, which if you're around the area and do 4x4s, that's a pretty big place to go. Uh, I didn't want to hit it because, again, it's for 4x4s, it's a lot of mud, a lot of uh, either rocks that are way too big to be climbing, uh, or just too wide and it's too boring, I guess you could say. Uh, it is December 8th, 2014, and it is 50 degrees outside. It's it's kind of weird. I wasn't expecting this at all. I wasn't tuned for it at all, so my performance is a little off. Uh, but I, I'm not complaining. I'm not complaining. It could be 30, it could be 20. It's 50, it's nice. Uh, I really like this park. This is actually the second time I've been here. Um, I hit this place about a year and a half, two years ago. Not much has changed, uh, but what I really like about it is there's just so much trail. I mean, you can't you can't go 10 feet on a trail without finding a different trail. I mean, it's, it's very all big and interconnected, and there's always there's always something new to find. I found so much bunch, bunch of new stuff today, and I thought I covered this place pretty well last time I was here, but apparently not. Uh, now over. On this side of the park is a uh, red clay and big jagged rocks uh, with also a uh, decent uh, hill climb over there. And that's that's nice because it's it's tacky right now it's tacky it, it was a little, it was uh, wet yesterday so it's tacky now a uh, lot of a lot of grip uh, then you go across the parking lot and it's like a, a hard pack sand gravel mix I've never really seen that anywhere else. Uh, maybe it's just unique to this lake. Maybe it's, I don't know. I, I, I haven't come across it, for, to, if I remember, I haven't come across anything like that. Uh, but it's only in a, a pretty uh, small area. But it looked like someone just dumped a big pile of sand and gravel. And over the, over the years, the water has just has created ruts, which are a blast up, up and down and inside where you, you go, how do I get down here? And you're sitting, I mean, it's a valley and your bars are scraping trying to drive through. It, it's interesting, it's unique, and it's a lot of fun. Uh, a lot of a lot of opportunities just to play around in that area. Also a lot of opportunities to hit a blind corner and run into somebody. So watch out on that. Uh, but the hill climb over here, it's not crazy. It's not Red Bull hair scramble crazy. It's just, it, it is, again, it's, it's clay, so it's pretty sticky. Uh, but if you're looking at it, it goes left to right. So you go, it breaks off, and there's three of them, and it's like, you know, hard, medium, holy crap. <laughs> and then uh, one of them, it, it kicks to the right, and then it just goes vertical. I, I, apparently people are hitting it, because there's tracks there. I didn't try it. Uh, I <laughs> uh, but I would definitely recommend this place as a destination. So uh, if you're not local, this is definitely a place to come. Uh, in central Kansas, uh, it, it's 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 west of Manhattan, Kansas. So that's decently big. It's uh, KSU is there. Uh, there is no camping at this park. Uh, there is a campground down the road. Uh, no access to the park from the campground, so you gotta shuttle your machines. Uh, there are no RV hookups. You have to go to Curtis Creek Campground for that, which I did, and it's closed for the season, so I slept on the road. But no big deal. I got my new camper, so it's all good. Uh, yeah, I really like this place. I'll definitely be coming back again because there's just so much stuff to do and Honestly, I've only, I, I hit things like once because I'm just I'm just going I'm going I'm going I'm going I'm going But there's a lot of opportunity where you can sit uh, and uh, you get yourself a little circuit and just hit that circuit hit that circuit you know just, and, and just it's, it's just fun. There's a lot a lot to do out here so uh, That's about all I got to say about it uh, nothing really unique about oh you don't need a permit because it is uh, Corps of Engineers, so you don't need a permit to ride down here, which is nice. Uh, if you have one, great. If you don't, great. So, uh, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.